Hi ACI users! Did you know Cisco ACI is celebrating its 10th anniversary? And with its latest release in version 612, which was just launched in December 2024, we're introducing some exciting new features, such as a brand new and modern user interface, VXLAN capabilities to interoperate between ACI and NXOS as well as other EVP and VXLAN fabrics, and many more. Want to know more? Join me in this video and let me take you through my top four features for this release. One, ACI new UI preview. The new ACI UI offers a sleek modern look with a more responsive design, making it easier and faster to navigate. Now you can access critical information with just one click. Once you upgrade, you can easily switch to the new UI preview to try it by clicking on the user profile icon. Once there, you'll land on the Journeys Welcome pop-up, which introduces you to the new UI experience, starting with a new layout and menu structure. After closing the pop-up, Journey shows you the main functions ACI has to offer and a brief description for each of them, making onboarding smoother for both new and experienced users while allowing you to maximize ACI's capabilities. In this first phase of the new UI implementation, only the physical inventory sections and the main dashboard, called Fabric View, will be enabled. However, you can get a glimpse of the overall plan, including a new experience to bring up the cluster. By clicking on Learn More in each step of a journey, you can browse through the different screens to visualize the planned workflow for each item. In addition, a revamped topology is being considered, and the introduction of workflows to simplify how you connect different devices to ACI through a simple configuration questionnaire is also planned. You can also view how we are looking forward to simplifying the creation and visualization of security and contracts. The What's New section in the journey provides you with a summary of the newest features introduced in the ACI version you are running, as well as other feature recommendations you should try. Next, let's talk about the redesigned fabric view, which is now your default homepage. This page brings the most relevant information front and center. With one click, you can check your fabric's health, top faults, and recent activities. Plus, easily drill down into switch details, interfaces, and connected endpoints, allowing you to search and filter for relevant information all without navigating through endless menus. Another major update is the simplified menu structure. The new layout is aligned with Cisco Nexus Dashboard's look and feel, providing a consistent experience across platforms. This means no more deep tree menus. The new design focuses on quick access, allowing you to find what you need faster with less clutter and more intuitive navigation. When you need to switch back to the current UI, you can always do so by clicking on the user profile icon again. But this is just the beginning. Cisco plans to roll out additional features to further simplify and enhance your ACI experience in conjunction with Nexus Dashboard. Any feedback is highly welcome. Therefore, if you like what you see or have any guidance for us to make it better, please reach out to your Cisco representative. Two, ACI border gateways. Cisco ACI Border Gateways, introduced with ACI Release 6.1, are a powerful solution for interconnecting your ACI fabrics with other VXLAN EVPN networks. They serve as a bridge between different fabrics, enabling seamless Layer 2 and Layer 3 extension across your data centers. Think of it as a smart gateway that allows you to connect your existing ACI infrastructure with non-ACI environments, like NXOS VXLAN EVPN fabrics all while maintaining control and security. With this feature, it is expected that when using Nexus Dashboard alongside, 
you will also be able to provision connectivity and security to both ACI and NXS VXLAN fabrics in a consistent and centralized way, normalizing operations and delivering one Nexus experience. In addition to ACI leaf and spine roles, this feature relies on a dedicated new role called Border Gateway, which is supported on Nexus 9000 FX2 switches and newer. A few limitations must be considered as part of the 6.1.2 initial release. For example, Border Gateway switches must be dedicated to only perform this function, and BNIs must be defined in the VXLAN eVPN domain to match the APIC assigned VNETs. These and other current limitations should be removed in future releases to support shared border leaf functionality, automated VNI normalization across NXOS and ACI fabrics, and more. If you want to learn more about this feature, check the Cisco APIC Layer 3 Network Configuration Guide. 3. Virtual APIC support for the small and large footprints. ACI 611 and 612 now support the same scalability in either physical or virtual form factors. With the introduction of two new virtual APIC sizes, it is now entirely up to you whether you deploy APIC physically or virtually providing you with an option to reduce the burden of physical device management. There are three virtual APIC profiles now available, small, medium, and large. You just have to download the vAPIC OVA file and then assign the corresponding resources based on your profile preference upon deployment. Four, heatless migration support between physical and virtual APIC clusters. Since we now have the same scale capabilities on both physical and virtual AP clusters, you might be thinking about migrating from your physical devices to reduce infrastructure. Therefore, the new APIC migration workflow allows you to seamlessly transition from virtual to physical APIC clusters and vice versa. This means you can upgrade your infrastructure and change the form factor of your APIC clusters without disrupting your business operations. As you perform the migration through the workflow, Keep in mind that the target APIC nodes out of band IP address should be different from the ones configured on the source APICs, while all other fields can remain the same. You will have to adjust any integration, such as Nexus dashboard, pointing out to the out of band IP address of your cluster once the upgrade concludes. Migration from a directly connected APIC cluster or layer two deployment to a remote cluster deployment, also known as L3, is not supported. The architecture must be the same between clusters for the workflow to work. And last, migration to a cloud-hosted AP cluster is not supported at this point. For more details, please visit the Cisco APIC Getting Started Guide for the 612 release on cisco.com. As a summary, with version 612, ACI is getting a simple, modern look that will allow existing and new users to find what they need faster. Although the new UI will require multiple releases to be fully implemented, this gradual approach will allow you to provide feedback as we build it. So don't be shy and tell us what you think and how we can make it better. In addition, features like ACI VXLAN border gateways will enable users to integrate ACI fabrics to other NXOS and eVPN VXLAN networks using open standards, providing the same data plane transport across different technologies and normalizing operations through Nexus dashboard. So why wait? Upgrade to the latest ACI version and experience the new features for yourself.